Welcome to Ron Wills Money Matters. Keep your credit card usage under 10%. Now, that's very important because, let's be real, the society we live in, even if you don't want to use your credit card, you kind of need to. I mean, indeed, you got, uh, for really, for a long time, you got situations you can't even get a job unless, uh, you know, you have good credit. It, I don't know how much it is now since I don't work for anybody now. But I remember one time I needed a job. It was one of those occasions, a down financial time. I was wor- willing to work retail. But my it was a down financial time, so my credit was jacked. I couldn't even get the job. There were a couple jobs I couldn't get because of credit. So first of all, it's very important to have good credit. But even when you get a credit card, the usage of it is very important. Because one of the things that affect your FICO score, and that's overall, yeah, they got three, you know, three different credit agent credit card agencies that track it, but they'll have different scores. The most important is your FICO score. That's what they're looking at, like when you're going for a house. Incidentally, I remember a time when I was, uh, we, uh, me and my uh, wife wanted to buy, um, get a condo, but we weren't using credit cards like that. All of our stuff had been paid off. We actually had to open up something. I was <laughs> just like, hey, this some stuff. Because, see, the thing with credit, it shows that you can pay on time. It's very important. So you definitely need it if you want to get Unless you can pay cash for a car and somehow pay cash for a house, um, you'll need credit for like the biggest purchases. And they want to see that, okay, you you pay on a steady basis. So it's important for that reason. But here's the thing. Paying it and using a lot of it is crazy. Like you shouldn't be never be at a point where you're living off the credit card. Now, I heard some advice given by a financial advisor way back in the day saying, you know, get a big credit card and then use a smaller one to pay it off, you know, like to pay the bill and then use your job to pay it. But I'm going to tell you something now. I'm going to say it. That's that's still bad. You don't want to get to a point where you have to have to live off your credit. You don't want to get to that point. I'm going to get more into that uh, next uh, next episode. But you don't want to get to that point. You don't want to get if you get to that point. Where it say you got to pay a major bill with your credit card. Oh, you got something. You, you got to take care of some, some stuff. Or if you even got to pay something like your rent or mortgage. Oh, you need to really look into some stuff. You don't want to extend it too much. Indeed, outside of like some uh, small purchases, you know, outside of some small purchases, maybe use the credit card to finance your business. Maybe use it. And, you know, and just as a reality there, the majority of businesses do not start with a bank loan. Because, first of all, the bank wants to know they're going to get their money back. That's the first thing. So you would even need credit for that. Do you need to establish some type of credit? Even if you like trying to start a, uh, well, keep a business going. They want to know, do you pay the stuff back? And indeed, there are some uh, banks, they will give a first-time uh, business owner a loan. You have to really search for it. But even then, they got to they gotta have something to check on to see if they're going to get their money back. Banks ain't just some nice guys. You know, maybe you can find some nonprofit that gives, like, low grants or something. But, you know, you, good luck with that. Yeah, I mean, I think it can happen. You know, I haven't actually looked for one, but it can be tough. And they got grants and stuff out there, but I haven't really dipped into that enough to uh, give a intelligent, an intelligent opinion on it. But your credit card usage, like you need to, you know, just to get your credit established, keep it going good, you need to use it. But as a rule, keep it under 10%. It looks better for your credit, and then it's easier to take care of paying it off. That's the thing. That's the thing. Don't go crazy with it. Like, do you really need those red bottom shoes? Or do you really need that Rolex watch? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to have that drip and everything. But do you need it? Or do you really need all the extras on a car or even that extra car? You know? And because uh, I've known some people, they, they use their credit cards for down payments on a car. And then, you know, all of a sudden they paying two different things. But... 
you want to consciously say, like, say if your credit limit overall is uh, 15,000, 15,000, you don't want to spend any more than 5,000. And really, that's a lot, too, unless you're making major purchases. Like, you know, like recently, um, I used uh, my credit card to get a, a month or so ago to get a new couch, a couple months ago to get a new couch. And I paid for it with the credit, but as I'm going to, I paid it off right away, though. And I'll get more into that in the next episode. But for the most part, the most I might use it for is some food or if I need to get something right away. And that's really just to keep it going, to keep the credit going. And But then as soon as the payment comes in, I take care of it. Like I said, I'm going to get more into that. But the thing is, you want to. You don't want to get to the point where you're using 50% of your credit. Well, because one of the issues with that is... Yes, you could probably pay something, but it'd be hard to pay off the whole thing. And with most credit card companies, most, uh, you're going to have some type of interest. And even the ones that have zero interest, the money's still building up. And before you know it, you might reach a limit. And then all of a sudden, especially especially if you're using that to just live on, you short. You short big time. Now, do you want to do that? No, nah, no. Nah. You want to be you want to be very disciplined. You want to keep it. it indeed, even though I use the example if you have fifteen thousand dollars, only five thousand, I would say except for major purchases, like if you need to get that a new bed or a new couch or something, I would say even keep it under five hundred. I would say keep it under five hundred. Shoot. Sometimes if you can keep it under a hundred, but just keep using it. But Keep it under 10%. If you can keep it even under 5 or even 1%, even better. But the key to all of that is paying it on time. And one quick thing about paying something on time, you know, because all credit cards have a, a minimum, and you want to pay, you, you want to pay more than a minimum. If be- at best, I say at a minimum, pay double the minimum. Because, see, especially with credit cards that have interest on it, you might just pay that minimum and thinking, oh, yeah, I'm paying it down. But then with that interest, you look up and you actually owe more than you uh, did when you made the payment. And you haven't even bought anything because that interest kills. That interest kills, especially with department store cards. And indeed, I would just say this. And in if you got to get a card, look for those cards that have 0% interest. There's a ton of there's a There's a lot of them out there. See, start with that. And just keep it under 10% and, you know, just pay them off on time, all right? So in order to even do that, let's go make that money.